Chamley Watson became the first American man to win individual gold at the World Championships. That was back in 2013. And now, guess what? He's looking for another big win. He is ready. Chamley Watson recently qualified for his third Olympic Games. He says it's a dream come true. And first on CBS Mornings, we love when that can happen. Miles Chamley Watson joins us here in the studio. On guard, Miles Chamley Watson. <laughs> we are so glad to have you here because I want people to get a little bit of your backstory because when people think of fencers, they think what? Mm. It still has a stigma of being elitist. It's, it's predominantly Caucasian. Um, and, you know, my goal is to kind of bring, you know, the kids that might not have the opportunity or look a little different and show them that, you know, you can you can be great at anything and, and mm. still kind of get the recognition that you deserve. So. Well, you say they think that they're nerdy people or timid, right? Yes. It's, it, yes, exactly. And it still yes. kind of has that stigma, right, of connotation of still being like, you know, Ivy League, a little bit of, you know, this. Right. Yes. and my goal is to kind of... Like a stuffy that. sport. Exactly. And yeah. my goal is to kind of break down that barrier and kind of bring a new audience in. Um, and I think I'm, you know, starting to kind of... But you got into fencing as a little kid because you were, you said, a disciplinary problem. What do you, what, what were you doing? Yes, I was a little cheeky kid from London, uh, you know, couldn't really sit still. Ants in his pants, they used to tell me. Uh, and I think, like, I had, you know, ADD as a little kid. And so... Uh, I was kind of off for fencing as a, as a punishment, which uh -huh. kind of ended up being, you know, my, my life now. So mm. if I never got into trouble, I would have never got out of trouble, mm. which is a double-sided sword, right? But what did you ah, like about I see it, though? Yeah, yeah, I see what you did. But <laughs> what did you like about it from the first time that you... I just love the fact that when you put the mask on, you yeah. just feel like a superhero, right? Mm -hmm. And like every kid that age, it's like you pick up... Every little boy loves, you know, a sword, quote-unquote, Picked right? up a stick when he was outside. Exactly. So I kind of turned that into my... Job now, which is which is pretty cool. I'm very grateful that I can do what I love, and I still love it. Yeah. So. And so the type of fencing, let's educate people here. A yeah, bit, yeah. All right. So because a couple of different kinds. What kind do you do? So this is foil, and there's three: foil, epee, and saber. Okay. And it's kind of based on target area. So my target basically is the torso, the neck, and the back. And then saber is the same thing, and the and the mask, and epee is the full body. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would not to be biased, but I think. Foil is the, is the uh, best one. It's the best yeah, one. Not to be yeah, biased. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and you, as a 19-year-old, according to this, you came up with a move that was original to the sport. It's not named after you? Yes, it's, it's called the Chamley Watson. What is the move? So basically, <laughs> I can show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show it on. I don't want to rip out of my <laughs> no, please. Rip out of my suit. Am so I basically, up? Okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Go. I'm pretty good, mate. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna get hit, okay? There you so go. now you can hit him. It's fine. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. You got some good insurance. <laughs> um, so basically, in fencing, right? It, yeah. It's I can't go horizontal. I can only look at you, okay? So if I'm very close to you, right, if I turn this way, I'm going to get a red card because I'm covering target. So I oh, said, okay. let's go the other way. So now I can go here and hit no. you in your chest. Whoa, what? Wow. Yeah, without Whoa. moving my body. You pulled that off? Oh, mate, we do it all the time. And that's now called the Chamley Watson because wow. no one's done it before. So What made you think that was possible? It just happened out of pure reaction. Oof. Wow. But, but Miles, how That's tall impressive. are you? Because I would think your height would be an advantage. And you said, no, not, no. how tall are you? I'm 6'5", all, six five. Six uh, all legs. 6'5", yeah. all legs. Yeah, so fencing's interesting because you can be tall and short and kind of still get the results that you need because I have a longer reach but a bigger target area. So your biggest strength could be, could be your biggest weakness. Exactly. So if you're not used to competing against someone that might be smaller, yeah. it might be more difficult for you. Uh -huh. So how would a person beat you then, not to give too much away, but... I'm still trying to figure that out, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are kind of no, the uh, most football no, players I know. The, the other thing, Miles, uh, I like you said, it though. You said yeah. you never wanted to, uh, you never wanted to fit in. Yeah. The way you dress, you're very high fashion. I know Thank that. You. Tatted up. Very tatted up. Thank you. Sorry, what, mom. what does your mom say about all the tattoos? Because it's a lot. Yeah. Well, in the beginning, she was a little bit, you know, she's like, Miles, you're ruining your skin, darling. And I'm like, Mom, at the end of the day. You know, I won't touch my face, okay? I told her that. Yes, yes, But yes. for me, it's like, I love art, and it's like kind of my expression, because we're all in white, right? Yes. So everyone looks the same. Yeah. So I figured that's add a little bit of art. Your body is your canvas, man. It is. And, like, luckily, yeah. I, I like to think my tattoos are, are pretty tasteful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, they are, and, and all, all of them story. tell a story. The other thing, when you walked in, all the women were saying, oh, my gosh, Gil, have you seen him? I said, yes, I've seen him before. <laughs> Always extremely good looking. I also yeah. know you're single. But so you, <laughs> for people that are wondering, what's your 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 idea of a dream girl for you? Is who? Yeah, who's who, who's your dream girl? Ooh. How much time do we have? Uh, my dream woman. Oh. You know who it is. Stop it. <laughs> Stop uh, it. Well, you know. <laughs> You're putting them on the spot here. Yeah, I, don't want want spot. I don't want to, like, you know. He doesn't want to exclude people. Yeah, then I feel bad because I'll meet another lady. You yeah, know. you know. But 
Um, well, you know, I, I'll just say the, the DMs are open. <laughs> yeah, yes. open ladies. I will open them for you. Ooh. Well, so we're ready for you. You got the bronze last yeah. time. Yes. And now you're ready for? We're looking for gold, a little more shiny. Yeah. A little more we're shiny. Right. To make history. That's this, the only thing I've never won. You said on IG gold. that oh. this year is going to be intense. Yes. yes. Why? Just because, you know, it's a lot of pressure, right? Which is, I'm learning is a, is a privilege, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yes. okay. just kind of enjoying the ride and, and you know, hopefully we're in... We're in Paris with a nice shiny thing on my neck, and <laughs> we'll come back and do you know part two. Paris is gonna be fun. All right, Miles, Miles Chambly, Chambly Watson, cheering you, so you on, much. cheering yes. you on, Miles.